Hi everyone, welcome to Trax Gaming and in this video we are going to see how to set up a quick sniper profile. You can add this in your own profile, just remember one thing, the more items you add into a sniper profile or select the sniper operation to work on it, the longer this will take. Before 8.3 the auction house consisted of pages, um, every page consisted of 50 items on the first page every new item posted there would be coming on the first page and whenever new items were added some would drop off to later pages and the last page would be the items that are going to be expired and in between some cancels as well just remember the old way was for sniping um tsm was just looking at the first page so all of the new items and just continuously refreshing it and whenever it falls into your operation setup it will display it in the screen now that is gone with the 8.3 revamp so you don't have that anymore so what you have to do in 8.3 right now is just add everything you want into a sniper and it just looks up those items one at a time and it refreshes any values that fall within your selection of the sniper operation so i'm using the new tsm 4.10 which is currently still in alpha i'm gonna make a quick group and you're going to see how easy this is going to be to set up. My groups are empty. I'm going to slide myself over to the side and we have the base group. You can see it. It's entirely empty. Um, you're going to see how easy for me this is to add everything into it. If you still have the old version, you have to have the item on hand to add it into a group or you have to know the item ID to import it. So a good tip for that is to use an add-on called ID tip, which just adds an item ID into the tooltip. You can see it just on the top right there. You could also get it to display with uh, using an add-on like uh, LVUI and get it easily done. So I'm going to make a group for materials. That's one. And because some people are into it let's make a transmog group as well so let's start with that one of course you can't go without transmogs uh without doing the lofty vanguard that kind of stuff um glorious we could do glorious we could do jade and we could do saltstone five really um good transmog items like sets and for materials we i'm i'm into I'm, i create a lot of expulsum so i need my tight spray to show up whenever i please i use a fixed value below two gold 50 um and when it falls below that i buy everything available for herbs I mill a lot of herbs, so everything below five gold in my setup is considered to be profitable. So I need to track those as well. What else do we need? Uh, we could do living steel, a lot of people into sky golem. So let's take that as an example. And one more for any, everyone aiming for vial of the sand, it will be volatile. You can add a primal group, uh, eternal group. You can do stuff like that. So now I have to add these items. You're going to see how quick this is going to be as, oh, I have to select the base group and I just have to enter the name of the items I want to see. Let's do ignore variations. So we got what glorious. Here we go. Add it into the glorious group. Done. That's how easy it's going to be as soon as you get your hands on this version. So we need Jade. We're going to leave that out. The gray ones. That's not of the set. Let's do Jade. Select group. I also added the, the weapons. You will have to define stuff like that for yourself. But it's purely as an example. Just to get everything to work. Let's do lofty. Select group. Add. Did I add the jade ones? Okay. I thought I forgot to click. To add them. Salt stone. Here we go. Go down here. Select the salt stone one. Add those. And then the vanguard. To finish off here we go vanguard 
add those there, select a group, add item. So you can see they're nicely grouped. See how easy this is. Now for materials, we discussed that we are going to add volatiles. We got air, earth, fire, life, and water. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. So tight spray linen. Tight spray linen going into tight spray linen. And then we need a living steel. And then we have to do the herbs. And then we can add the operations. And then we're ready to go. So add living steel. And for herbs, I need sirens pollen. Any BFA herb. Sea stalk. And that will be star moss is the next one star moss just the common herbs river bud akunda's bite and then finally also winter's kiss is going to be added so i'm not interested in milling in milling anchor weed and i'm not interested in milling xenanthief at the moment let's do this sniper operations this is a default one it's very uh, it's a very big one. Uh, let's see. We're going to make one for tight spray. Tight spray linen. That will be one I would select. And if I use it like exactly how I want to use it, I just enter maximum price to gold 50. Whenever it is to gold 50 or below, it's going to show up for the purpose of the video. Let's put this as at five gold. Then we, uh, what I need is a herb one. So BFA herbs. My max price for herbs is five gold. Anything below it will be shown as well. We have to have one for um, volatiles. So in my experience, volatiles are good when they're below 60 gold. But let's add something in as well. So we can go with maximum db market and the db market let's set it at like 80 percent or something so enter so whenever it's below 80 percent db market or below 60 gold it is going to show we could do that for living steel as well so we can do max let's say 70 percent because it's a larger investment so depending on how you set it up and let's say 750 gold depending on your server all right that's done so that's living steel so we got the materials done we have the herbs we have the living steel we have the tight spray and we have the volatiles and now we just need one for transmogs and i have a a really cheap transmog thing i set up uh, based on db region market so you will have to define one for yourself if this if this doesn't suit you you have to define one for yourself because it's very cheap buying but on a lot of high population servers a few of these items will go even below uh, a certain range of db market that is still showing here so you will still end up with a lot of competition if it just shows up like here but it's for the purpose of oh it's for the purpose of the video so we needed something to be included so i'm going to override the sniper and i'm going to add the transmog group um <clears throat> i'm doing it this way but you can do it like this as well so if you go to bfa herbs okay i want it on bfa herbs um this works as long as your profile doesn't doesn't get like really really big and then the volatile ones will be here i did a pre-recording of this and i kind of messed up because i forgot to do one thing um because i don't do this on a daily basis if i go to operations the default sniper is there so any ungrouped item it's still going to scan the entire auction house so we don't want that so this is already done if i go to the sniper and i run it it starts running it's going to display as soon it falls between the parameters i've chosen um, if you look at the percentage here, 
So the percentage is based on the max price of the sniper string. So if you're going to see herbs, max price would be five gold. If an herb co costs five gold, it will display it as 100%. The tight spray was set up at five gold. If it comes up at five gold, it's going to be here for 100%. Look, see, 499, 100%-ish. Let's do it like this so we can show... Um, prices going up in range so let's do an example here Akunda's bite that falls within range i'm not gonna buy all seventy thousand right now so let's just buy 10 done buy the commodity and you just resume the scan and it just keeps going it's gonna check everything again you can see there's not a lot of transmogs that fall into the category although you can see here vanguard is pretty cheap compared to db region so 10,000 region and then 1,600 on the server. This one region 26, 4,000 on the server. So no, I'm not going to buy all of the transmog items. This on the server, I only do BFA stuff. But this is just quickly how you, how you set up a sniper profile. That's just basically it. Let's go over it again. The things we did. So we, I made a um, BFA herbs, five gold, living steel, 70%, 750, and then tight spray, five gold, transmog one, and the volatiles. So let's say you want, you want to uh, scan cheap materials. You make a DB market 50, so you can do this. So let's say you want to have uh, materials and you have a group with all of the materials you buy for let's say for bfa because everyone a lot of people use that right now you put rubbery flank in it you can put dredge leather in it you can put crack scale in it monolite uh storm silver and whenever it goes below 50 percent or whatever you set it to be then you are going to have it shown up on your tsm sniper you can also what you can do is go to the operation sniper operation let's see here materials what you can do maybe something neat for a few people is doing this 50 percent db market and you could do average buy so whenever it comes up exactly as your average buy or below the average buy you already made it's going to show up as well so you're gonna get a lot of items so it just keeps going oh it's dropping in price just a little bit more and it's all gonna be mine so that's it that's how you set up a quick sniper it doesn't have to be over complicated you can have this running like a lot of people have multiple accounts i have myself i'm not a multi-boxer but i do multi-box craft on two accounts so Considered to be, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a gather multi-boxer, but hey, it's easy. You put this open on a second screen, it scans, and you play the game as you want to play it on your first account, and it shows up, and you can buy it anytime you want, defined by your preferences. So that's it. That's how you set up a sniper profile. Thank you all. Have fun making all that gold, and I will see you in another episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.